Hi everyone, Mark here. And uh, what I'd like to show you today is how you can change the settings of your cursor and your mouse on a Chromebook. So when I was in a classroom the other day, I had some students who were a little bit frustrated that every time they moved their cursor, just like mine is on the page right now, they got this round circle, which they did not like. Um, some people prefer to have that, especially when you're making a video like this, it makes it easier for people to see what you're doing. But let's say you want to take that feature off because it's not something that you really like. So the first thing I'm going to come, I'm going to come down to the bottom right here. I'm going to click. If you have accessibility as a feature in your uh, main menu, that's great. You're going to click on there. If you don't, then I'd like you to come down and click on the settings wheel here. And then you're going to come up to the top left where it says settings and there's three lines. You're going to click on there. And then the part that can be a little bit tricky is you don't see anything here that seems like it'll help. You need to come down to advanced. Once I do that, I then come down to the bottom where it says accessibility and I click. Okay. So if I do want accessibility, once again, in my main menu, I can just toggle this on right here. It'll save me about three or four clicks. If I click on manage accessibility features, I now have to focus on my mouse. So as I come down the page to the bottom, you will see mouse and touchpad. So these are all of the different options that you have. And right now it says highlight the mouse cursor when it's moving. And notice I have the toggle on. So as I move my mouse, the red ring, the red circle is there. Once I stop moving, it actually disappears. It's only going to do it while I move my mouse and then it disappears. But let's say you don't want that and you just turn it off. The other thing that I noticed on a few computers were people who had this cursor. So up at the top here, it says automatically click when the mouse cursor stops. I'm gonna turn that on because I would like to show you the difference. Your circle might look like this. See how it's blue when I'm moving around? And then when I stop moving, you'll see a line inside of it. And it's taking its time and then all of a sudden it disappears. I'm gonna do that again. There it goes. What that's doing is it's focusing. So if I put my mouse onto something and I leave it there, when that cursor stops turning, it will automatically click. It's going to, it's going to look at it as though I'm clicking on something because that's why it says automatically click. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back on my toggle right there and I'm going to let it run all the way out. So instead of turning my toggle off, I can put this just on top of it, let go and see how it actually clicked it itself. If I want to turn it back on, I have to click it. But now this is back. I can also set how long I want it to take. Right now it's at one second. I can have it be two seconds. It would take even longer to decide whether or not you want to click. But I want to turn this off. I don't know if I'd ever really use this myself. So I'm going to bring it over, put it on top. It'll take two seconds. And there we go. It's toggled it off. So if you are getting that circle and you do not want that on your cursor, you go to mouse and touchpad and just make sure you have the automatic click turned off and the highlight the mouse cursor clicked off as well. When you're done, you click the X, takes you back to your whatever you're working on and uh, it's fixed. So I hope that helps and um, take care.